So, my name is Valentin Popescu. I'm a PhD student uh, of the National Arts University in Bucharest. This is a presentation about uh, frames or metaphors about modern architecture in Romania. Now I will speak here about uh, two frames, the sanatorium frame and the machine frame. The sanatorium frame was already discussed by Beatrice Colomina and other researchers. I wish only to uh, apply uh, their ideas to the Romanian reality. I shall begin uh, with a quote from St. Augustine about uh, the difficulty to tell what, uh, what time is. The same difficulty we have with social representation with the things that are in the mind of people. Once you take them on paper, in articles, in conferences, uh, the, these things are easier to manage and uh, we can see more clearly what the people in uh, interwar Romanian thought about modern architecture. So, we have uh, the machine metaphor, we have uh, text by architects and we have the shapes and uh, lightning of modern buildings and um, we understand that uh, the sanatorium was a model for modern architecture he was uh, it was uh, a machine like uh, building and uh, also uh, a, m a machine of prevention, so interested in uh, light exposure, in uh, disposing uh, of dust and uh, in the easiness of cleaning surfaces, so surfaces without ornaments without uh, unnecessary decoration. So we have uh, these uh, four Romanian architects that were sick uh, with uh, lungs and uh, tuberculosis. In the left we have Grigori Nescu and Heinrich Schomburg. They were architects and also theorists of uh, modern architecture and in the right we have Nikolai Kuku and Ion Pushkila that were only practitioners of this architecture. Uh, Grigori Onescu is uh, better known as a historian of Romanian architecture but um, he was also an architect uh, and um, he created um, sanatoriums for the Society for the Prevention, Prevention of Tuberculosis. So his experience as a former patient in the older sanatoriums was used to improve the conditions for other patients. By doing this he reinvented himself and he created a his own uh, version of modern architecture. So this is his uh, diploma project, project uh, an archaeology museum presented uh, in the Romanian School of Architecture in 1930, uh, after which he left to Italy, to Rome, with a scholarship and returned 
and after uh, two years he started to design modern buildings uh, as I said before the better known of his uh, sanatoriums is this uh, Toria Toria Sanatorium this uh, ship like um, filled with light building was probably very different from the former sanatoriums as different as he could uh, design it now his opinions about modern architecture were expressed in a conference in a radio conference from 1936 so he said light means health and modern architecture is an architecture of light and uh, so uh, uh, making use of uh, concrete uh, the windows could be larger and uh, give more light also he says under the inspiration of Le Corbusier that uh, we are uh, we live under the domination of the machine but he's interested in the aesthetical side of machines rather than in their efficiency so The example of the machine is to adapt all the parts to the whole they make up and to subordinate the means to the purpose. And for him, the purpose was comfort, which was also uh, psychic, not just a physical comfort. So he is interested also in sensitivity not only in shelter and efficiency. Henry Schomburg, in an article uh, from 1932, was interested in the light and air and uh, smooth surfaces that are easy to clean, but also in uh, the efficiency that he compares with a car. The house must offer as much as possible and consume as little as possible, like a car. Uh, we should uh, look into this because... Now, we see here a um, project from the year in which uh, a military commission declared him uh, unfit for the army. Uh, because he had a, li a lungs uh, inflammation. And here we have a building that he designed in the year he published the article. And um, the same evolution from a style to another as uh, we have seen already at in Gregorian Esquire. Now, in Romanian, machina means machine. It also means automobile. In um, French or in British, car or voiture means both carriage and automobile. There is a continuity between the two, like uh, the car with uh, an engine is still a car. It's not something different, but in Romania there is a break because the industrial revolution came rather late and uh, that there's no continuity we have 
uh, the carriage on one side and the automobile, which is totally new and hard to understand, on the other side. So that's uh, a difference that uh, influences the way that Romanians thought about uh, industrial design and about architecture. For Le Corbusier, house as machine à vivre meant a functional economical house, uh, easy to maintain and to use. Heinrich Schomburg was uh, totally into Le Corbusier idea, Le Corbusier's ideas as he proposed minimal dwellings with uh, no more than 50 square meters and uh, inventions such as uh, transformable furniture uh, to improve the conditions in such a small space. For Goranescu, comfort meant also comfort with the psyche, as I already said, and he's interested in an aesthetics uh, inspired by genuine industrial products such as automobiles, ships, airplanes. We already saw in the Toria uh, sanatorium. Uh, that it looks like a ship, so uh, the inspiration uh, there is pretty obvious. Now, industrial aesthetics uh, are uh, harder to be accepted in the Romanian uh, scenery in Bucharest. In the most modern of Bucharest boulevards, on the Magheru, we see a garage, so an industrial building with a classical facade and uh, in the same boulevard we see a block, a building block that is uh, closer to the industrial aesthetics that uh, UNESCO was talking about, so let's see here Scala Cinema Block, designed by Rudolf Frankel. You see the curved shape and the way he is solving the corner, the corner of the building. And the smooth surfaces and uh, nice perspective. And uh, here this facade which actually uh, is hiding uh, ramps for uh, for cars and uh, it's a large parking lot actually so these are some of the ideas that uh, i intend to to develop in a future article uh, and uh, I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.